Good morning. So it's Tuesday, the day after the Great American Eclipse that did not eclipse my house, but it did get dark and there was a ton of bugs out. So it has been insane. Sunday, all my clients lost their minds, like literally every single one of them. So I had one client who, clo who sold their house. The new buyer went in. We had had some foundation work done, some beams put in. Well, I guess when they put the beams in, they cut the plumbing lines. So she went to run her washing machine and um, water just pulled in the basement. She tried to take a shower, water poured into the basement. So going back and forth, like whose fault is this foundation company? Like why are you cutting plumbing lines if you don't know how to cap them or fix them? Went to them, they said, well, we told the seller that he was gonna have to have a plumber in there. And he said, I already have a plumber coming, which is true because after the foundation was done, we had other plumbing issues we had to get resolved. So the plumbing company had a checklist. The plumbing company goes out there, does their checklist. So I called the plumbing company all upset yesterday, like, what is going on? Like, how did you not do your job? Like, and they're like, we told your seller that the lines were cut, so we couldn't even test the water. Nobody told me. Seller doesn't understand really what that means, thinking that they're just trying to find new work doesn't say anything, doesn't comprehend that the, ooh, hair's frizzy, the water doesn't work. So the new buyer will be waterless. So I drove 45 minutes out to the country um, and met them out there, met with the plumber, got the plumbing fi thing fixed. Now they're saying, well, when the foundation company took the walls out and the sheetrock to put the beams in, electrical's hanging, it's all live wires. So electrician is the next step for the day. So just another example of my crazy days. Then I have a, another seller who's selling their home. They have a contract that states specifically attached fixtures, window curtains were to remain. Very vague. Well, the buyer decides three days before closing that the curtains which need to stay, which is true. My clients took the curtains, they brought the curtains back. But they say that they feel like the pot rack hanging in the kitchen on the hook was an attached fixture, so it needed to stay, which it didn't outline that in the contract. They had a, a grown person, like two person swing in the backyard. They wanted that to stay, but they did not put it in the contract. They had some shelves in the garage that were not attached that they had even texted us about during the inspection. It was like, hey, um, are these shelves staying? And we we're like, no, they're not staying but they want those back. So they're throwing this huge tantrum over things that they did not negotiate, did not put in the contract, and are going off the basis that they feel like since they were attached, which the shelves, garage shelves were not, and the swing were not, that they should stay in the house. So myself and the other agent are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We got 24 hours of closing, and, and my sellers don't wanna give in because they know that they're in the right contractually. Their buyer says, well, I won't buy the house. So we have to come up with ways to save this deal. So after I went over last yesterday evening with my kids, took pictures of all the walls in the garage to show there's not a single bracket or hole where a bracket could have been. I took pictures of the swing set in the backyard that's not there to show that it was not in concrete, which they, they told us that they felt like the swing set was in concrete and my clients saw the bottom off to take it. Showed them the ceiling in the kitchen where there was no attachment. There was just a, a hole where a hook was, like a hanging plant hook for that pot rack. Mind you, that was a gift from her brother for their wedding. So they don't want to give their pot rack away. And curtains are getting delivered today. So sometimes you can be right or you can get the deal done. I know we're right. Like I 100% know we're right. Like I got evidence upon evidence. But my clients have moved out, their stuff is in stores, their kids enrolled in new school. Like, to be like, oh, well, you know, let's just prove that we're right is not going to help them in any way. Even that makes me feel better. So we are giving them back the curtains. We are going to have, I'm going to have, a sh I'm going to personally pay for them to get a shelf put in the garage. Um, and the buyer's agent is buying them a freaking swing just some of the things that we have to do on a daily basis to save deals. So those, those two things were hectic. Knock on wood, that closing is happening tomorrow at 9.30 and I will be celebrating. Y'all saw my back to school post.
I'm about to do that again. Ooh, I hope everything looks okay under there. But excitement is coming because it's going to close and we're going to move on and everyone will be happy even though people are getting their way that probably shouldn't because they're not right. Sometimes it's better to get the deal done than to be right. So hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Crystal Saves the Deal. Um, I had some people on IG ask me the other day about how I got into real estate, what made me do real estate, like what are the things that I do. So I'm going to work on that video. That's going to take a little bit more time, but I'll get that out as soon as I can. Thanks for checking out. And if you like this video, thumbs up it. If you want to check out some more of my information on Instagram, I've got the two pages, the Crystal Clear Group and Strive to Be Best Me. And also uh, check out my Strive to Be Best Me YouTube channel. Talk to you soon.